Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I've uploaded a video. Um, I had a, things going on and I wasn't able to film or, you know, I wasn't even coloring that much. So now that I'm getting back into it, I figured I'd start off with the TMI coloring tag. It was created by I think Chloe Rose Art, but Color Me Stress Free brought it into the coloring community. And so that's been going around, so I figured we'd do that. I think Danny Buttons opened it up to anybody that wanted to do it. So here we are. I'm going to work in, what is this from? Tales of the Forest Kingdom by Hannah Carlson. And going through this page. So, sorry if it's shaking. I'll try not to do that. Alright. So, let's get started. So, the first question is, what are you wearing? Well, I'm wearing a t-shirt and pajama pants. That's my go-to house, what I wear at home. Let me bring you down some. So, yeah, that's usually what I wear at home. Comfy clothes. Okay, number two, ever been in love? Of course, of course I have. I am now with my husband. I've been in love with him for quite a while. <laughs> so, let's see. Number three, ever had a terrible breakup? Oh, yes. Yep with my ex-husband. My, my kid's dad. That was, that was, that was the worst. And okay, so number four, how tall are you? I am five, seven and a half. I know it's 5'8". Well, closer to 5'8", but they hit throw that half in there. Because <laughs> I'm not quite, but almost. I've always wanted to be a little shorter than I am, but not much you can do about that. <laughs> how much, how tall you are. Number five, how much do you weigh? Yeah, that's, that is TMI, isn't it? <laughs> well, I've gained a few pounds since we got married and, you know, COVID and not being as active out of the house. And so I've gained 10 pounds. And I am up to about 143 pounds, which I mean is, isn't horrible for my height, but it's not my comfort weight by any means. I usually like to weigh around 130. That's where I feel the most comfortable. Okay. Um... Any, number six, any tattoos? Oh, yes. Yep. One, two, three. I've got eight, eight tattoos, and I have my eyeliner tattooed on. That, ooh. That hurt. <laughs> the, eye, the eyeliner 
did probably worse than any of my other tattoos and I've got half a sleeve <laughs> so, yeah that was awful but would I do it again yes I would any piercings oh that's number seven any piercings yes <clears throat> I've got my ears double pierced and uh, when I was a little younger I had my tongue pierced and then I had some other piercings <laughs> that I had to take out due to pregnancy so my second pregnancy so I'll leave that to your imagination um, OTP number eight um, What is that? The celebrity pairing or whatever or on the show pairing? Hmm. I don't really know. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know who that would be. I don't really go by celebrity stuff or um. I don't really have a favorite. Even on shows, I don't have a favorite couple. So, I don't know. I'm trying to think if any of the shows I watch are even couple related. I don't think so. So, we'll go on. <laughs> Number nine, favorite show. Hmm. I have a few right now. I started watching Clarice. I really like that show. Um, the Handmaid's Tale. I'm watching. That I've kept up with for as long as it's been out. Um, oh, there's my puppy. Finny. No. Um, let's see. I love Young Sheldon <laughs> from The Big Bang. I'll have to watch that. Um, but yeah, I think that's my favorite ones going on right now. Number 10, favorite bands. Mm. Fleetwood Mac. It's one of my all-time favorites. Um, hmm. I just went blank. <laughs> oh, Greta Van Fleet. Um, love their stuff. Um, they sound a lot like Led Zeppelin. Um, I mean, of course, nobody is Led Zeppelin, but they just have that kind of sound to them. Oh, he's fine. He's eight. He's fine. He's been out. He just, he likes to be right on top of me constantly. Um, let's see. The Guns and Roses. I am an 80s child. Well, I was born in the 70s, but I grew up listening to all that, you know, the old stuff. What they would consider oldies now, which is hilarious to me. <laughs> so funny. Um, Nickelback. I love Nickelback and Metallica. I was devastated last year. We were going to go to, they have this big rock festival in Charlotte every year. And we were going to go and Metallica was playing all three days. And they canceled it because of COVID. So, yeah. Okay. 
moving on. Um, 11, something you miss. Hmm. Something I miss. I miss the days before the internet when people actually had some sense about them. <clears throat> I don't know how to describe what I want to say. I just think people have gotten very mean with the keyboard, having behind their keyboard, and I just miss the good old days when before all this. I really do. My children will never know that era not having a cell phone not having those worries about what you look like and people judging you and i don't know well, that's how i feel about it okay number 12 favorite song hmm Mm. Well, I don't know. I don't really have one favorite song because I love music so much. But anything Stevie Nicks sang, consider it a favorite of mine because I love her so much. Um, so, yeah, I listen to her a lot. Uh, number 13, how old are you? I am 42 years old and I will be 43 next month. June 28th. So that goes along with my zodiac sign. Next question. I'm a cancer. And I am a true cancer in every sense of the word. <laughs> yep. I have all the traits of a cancer. Family first. sensitive, all that. Um, and we are ruled by the moon, so anytime there's a full moon, I don't, I don't sleep much, so I don't know why. It's just, that's the way it is. <laughs> Um, number 15, quality you look for in a partner. Honesty, loyalty, sense of humor. Gotta have a sense of humor because I'm pretty sarcastic <laughs> with my jokes and stuff like that. So... Sixteen. Favorite quote. Hmm. Maybe I should have thought about these before I sat down to record. <laughs> um, isn't there one by Mother Teresa that says, it's a whole poem, it's be kind or do it anyways. Uh, used to have a, um, a big photo, it was framed, that my mama got me, and it broke when we moved, it got broken, so, but yeah, I read that a lot, actually, because it hung in my bedroom, y'all should look it up, it's, it's really good quote or poem or however you want to look at it. <clears throat> Number 17, favorite actor. Huh. Keanu Reeves is one of them. Um, I 
something mysterious about them that, that I, I like. And he's seems so genuine and not into the Hollywood, you know, stuff. I don't like fake people and he just seems more genuine than to me and he is a great actor. So eighteen. Favorite color. Green. Green, green, green. The teal greens, emerald greens, light green, pale green. <laughs> yeah, all those. <sighs> 19, loud music or soft? Uh, loud. <laughs> loud music. Let's have a migraine, then no music. No music at all. <laughs> Um, but definitely loud. Um, in the car, if I'm cooking dinner, just if we're hanging out, just having some beers or something, definitely loud music. Um, 20. Where do you go when you're sad? Bed. I go to bed. Take me a nap. And that's where I'll stay until I feel better. <clears throat> but, um, yeah. That's my safe space, I guess. As they would call it these days. I just like to be under my soft sheets and I'll put on, you know, a video or until I fall asleep. Okay. <clears throat> 21. How long does it take you to shower? Um, between 10 and 15 minutes. Generally, I gotta wash my hair and wash my body and shave and wash my face and all that stuff. <laughs> and sometimes I just like to be under the water, the hot water, feel, you know, <laughs> helps with my fibromyalgia. Okay, 22. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Oh, well, when I used to have to get ready in the morning, it would take me an hour. <laughs> Putting on my makeup and doing my hair. And back when I worked and stuff. Unless I felt horrible. Then it would just, I would just shower and... <laughs> let my hair air dry. <laughs> I'll be out the door faster because I would sleep later. <laughs> but generally, it'll, it'll take me an hour to get ready. Number 23. Ever been in a physical fight? <laughs> yes, I have. A couple of them. Um, in high school. <laughs> That's all we need to know about that. <laughs> um, 24, turn on. Um, hmm. My husband's long hair. <laughs> uh, yeah. And he wants to cut it. I'm like, oof. I don't want you to. But it's his hair. He can do what he wants. But I love it. Okay, 25. 
25 turn off. Mm. Liars, bullies. Um, people that think they're all better than everybody else. But definitely those liars, thieves, and bullies. Can't I have no place for those kind of people in my life. Um twenty six, the reason I joined YouTube. Well, I've had people asking me for years to start a channel, and I did, finally. Um, I really wasn't able to with the old place I lived at, because we didn't have good Wi-Fi service, and we had the satellite Wi-Fi, and it was awful. I would have never got anything uploaded. I could hardly even watch a, a live stream where I lived so I couldn't do it until really we moved and <clears throat> I bit the bullet and did it and and that is the reason okay, I'm just activating I was using ink tents. So I'm just going to go in and activate it now. Mm. <laughs> okay. 27 fears. Um, losing my family. My family is everything to me. And I've had a bunch of losses in the past year. Of most recently, my dad died about a month ago. And before that, my sister died right after Thanksgiving. So, yeah. And before that, I lost the most important person that was ever close to me was my grandma. So it's been hard. So it's been really hard. So. That's a huge fear, and it is a reality, so I, I don't know. How do you not live in fear of that when you've had to deal with it already? <clears throat> and a lot of it at one time, it seemed. Okay, 28, last thing that made you cry. Uh, talking about my grandma with my husband. So, 29, last time you said you love somebody this morning. This morning when my husband and I were texting. Uh, okay. 30, meaning behind your YouTube name. Well, I was trying to come up with something. And I, I don't know. I forget how it even came about, really. But Mike, my husband, picked it out. He came up with it. It's just a twist on color, what we're doing here. I don't know. I don't know. 
I didn't want it to be like color in with Sabrina or, you know, anything like that. So, I wanted it to be a little different. And that's what he came up with. Just what we brainstormed on. Okay. Um... Number 31, last book you read. Hmm. Ooh. Um, oh, that's been a while since I've read a book. Try, I can't even, I don't even know. Um, had to have been like an Ellen Hildebrand book. I really like her books. Um, or no, oh, it was a, wait, it was a B.A. Paris book. I remember now. I can't remember the name of it, though. It's been a long time. I was living at my old house. Um... 33, last show you watched, um, Big Pain Theory last night. <clears throat> Before I went to bed. I love that show. It's hilarious. Okay, 34, last person you talked to. Is that talking in person? <laughs> or on a message. The last person I spoke to was my son a minute ago. The last person I messaged was Jojo and Ashley. So we have a group chat. We talk to each other every day. Um Okay. 35, the relationship between you and the person you last texted. Well, my husband, we're married. <laughs> um, oh, wait, no. I, I texted with Timmy a while ago. Color and T's roll of color. Or, is that her channel name? I can't remember. Everybody knows who she is, though. Yeah. I texted her. A bit ago. Um, let's see. Oh, and we're just really good friends. Known her for a long time. Okay. 36. Favorite food. Hands down Mexican. Mexican food I could eat every day. Oh. I could. Jimmy Changos, burritos, enchiladas, nachos, it don't matter. Any of it. Mm. I love it. Love, love, love. Wish I could cook like that. Um, of course, Jojo gave me the recipe for Mexican rice, and I make it a lot, and it's so good. Just like the stuff you get with your Mexican food at the restaurant. Oh, so good. Now, if I could just get the other stuff down, we'd have a complete meal. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um... 37, place you want to visit. And right now, I just want to go to the beach. I want to go lay on the beach all day long for like a week. And we're planning on doing that in September of this year. Okay. 
Okay. Um, 38, last place you were. Hmm. Probably gas station. Probably the gas station. Okay. Where was I? Oh, 39. Do you have a crush? I do. I crush on my husband every day. He will always be my crush. <laughs> Always, always. He is my best friend. He is my everything. So, uh, 40. Last time you kissed someone. Uh, last night when we went to bed. 41. Last time you were insulted. Hmm. Well, I don't really want to get into that specific. But it was, it, last time I was insulted was over YouTube, so. But I won't get into all that. Okay, 42, favorite flavor of sweet. Oh, uh peach rings and um, the watermelon gummies and cheesecake. Can I have three? <laughs> I love all that. All of them. And I'm not really big on like sitting down and eating sweets all the time, but I have been really into those lately. Okay, 43. What instruments do you play? I played flute in school. Um, I probably couldn't pick it up now and play anything, but that's what I played in school in the band. <clears throat> um, 44, favorite piece of jewelry. Well, I have a couple. Um, of course, my rings. Um, Um, diamonds. My mama gave me <clears throat> a pair of Takori diamond ring earrings and I got a piece of a necklace from my grandmother, from my grandma. So those three I cherish. Um, 45, last sport you played. Huh. I don't know. I don't really play sports. I played softball when I was younger, but that's about it. 46, last song you sang. Hmm. I don't sing. <laughs> I, might, I might sing softly to myself, but I don't sing out loud. I don't know. Probably a Nickelback song because that's the last thing I remember listening to. Um, 
there's no telling. I don't know specifically. Okay, 47, favorite chat up line. I don't do that, so I don't, I'm gonna skip that. And it says 48, have you ever used it? So, no. <laughs> okay, 49, last time you hung out with anyone. Well, I guess that's been a couple of months ago. Last time Mike had a show at a at a bar, went and hung out with the people there. Okay, and number fifty. Who should answer these questions next? Okay. I think I'm going to tag um, Emma Colors 2020 and JoJo's Coloring Nook and Ashley's Coloring Creations and Latimia from T's World of Color. Yeah, tag those four ladies. See what their answers are. I think this is a really interesting tag. It makes us learn about people, so that's cool. And if anybody's interested in the colors I used for this bug, um, give me one second and I'll read them off to you. But if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Okay. Teal green. Green aquamarine. And deep indigo. In that order. So. Alright guys. Well thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far. And hopefully I'll be back soon with some more videos. Try to get back into the YouTube thing. Well, and thank you so much for watching. Talk to y'all later. Bye.